Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Mita Ong Math Lesson again. Today we are going to look at laws of indices or sometimes called the exponent or power. Today we are going to look at some of the exam questions presented in NCA level 1 as well as level 2. The first four questions will be a chief question, two from level 1 and two from level 2, and the last Two questions will be the excellence question from the NCA level two question. So there are three laws of indices. It's indicated there one, two, and three. Okay, and then the fourth one is just a law of indices that involve negative powers, which we'll look at at level two. So if you have x m is the same base, x and x are the same, and if you multiply the power you are adding the power. So for example, if you have x squared times x4, you're going to add the power. So 2 plus 4 is going to be x to the power of 6. Similarly, if you have divide, xm divide by xn. So for example, x12 divide by x4 or written as x12 divide by x4 you are taking away the power, so it's going to be x, 12 minus 4 is going to be 8. And then the last one is more useful in level 2, xm to the power of n. So for example, you have x cubed to the power of squared. You can actually multiply them, so it's going to be x, 3 multiplied by 2, which will give you x to the power of 6. And the last one is going to be a negative power, so remember all negative power in your answers have to be converted to a positive power in NCA level 2. So x minus m is just, for example, x minus 3 is just going to be 1 divided by x3. So that is the 3 or 4 laws of indices that you need to know. We shall look at some of the exam questions. So the first one was the 2018 NCA level 1 paper 1 and you are supposed to solve x. So what you need to do, you are going to make the power the same. Always remember, in the indices question, you have to make the power the same. So 3x plus 1. If you know, 81 is actually 3 to the power of 4. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 will give you 81. So now, if the base is the same, you can claim that the power x plus 1 is equal to 4. So that's how you solve. x plus 1 equals to 4. Then the next thing you do, you're going to solve algebraically your minus 1 on both sides, so x equals to 3. So that will give you an achieve in NCA level 1. Okay, we shall look at another example, which is very similar to the first example. This is again 2018 NCA level 1, paper 2. So now we are going to solve that. So again, you have to make the same power. The base has to be the same. So 2x minus 1, 64 is 2 to the power of 6. So now you have done that, you are going to solve the power. So this is the same. So you're going to be x minus 1 equals to 6. Solving algebraically, x equals to 6 plus 1, 7. Again, that is an easy achieve in NCA level 1. Okay, now we're going to do two questions from the NCA level 2. Also achieve. Okay, so now you have a bracket. What I would do is that I'm going to convert the 0 0.5 is half. So what I do, 9a squared b minus 4, I'm going to change it to half. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to break each part into a different power. So I'm going to be 9 half, a squared half, and then b minus 4 half. Based on the law number 3, you can multiply the power. First, 9 half is actually the square root of 9, or you put in a calculator, 9 to the power of half is going to be 3, or the square root of 9 is 3. And then 2 times half is going to be 1, so a remains into a, because 2 times half is going to be 1, so you can put 1 there. And then b minus 4 times half is going to be minus 2. As I said before, you cannot leave your answer as a negative power. b minus 2 is the same as 3a over b squared. And that is an achieve in level 2. 
Another achieved question in level 2 was done in 19, 20, uh, 2019, last year, and this is how it looks. Simplify 2a divided by 3b squared 4 minus 2. So whenever you see a minus sign here, I would actually just change it to 1 divided by 2a over 3b4, and it becomes a squared now. So what you do, you're going to multiply them. So that is going to look like 1 divided by 2a, 2 squared, a squared, that's how I expand, and then 3 squared, b, 4 squared. So it's going to look like 1 divided by 4a squared divided by 9b8. This actually means 1 divided by 4 a squared over 9b8 and then this is going to you swap over 1 times 9b8 over 4a squared and then and that will actually be the answer because 1 multiplied by that so x equal to that answer that is again an achieve in NCEA level 2 Okay, we shall do the excellence question now from NCA level 1, 2016, and then we'll do another exam excellence question from NCA level 1 in 2019. So, uh, whenever you have an index question, try to make the same power. So, 2 power 4 is the same as 4 is the same as 2 power 2 times 2x equals to 2, 6x plus 3. So if you know the power, when you have the same base, you can add the power. So 2, 2 plus x equals to 2, 6x plus 3. Now if the base is the same, you can say the two powers equal each other. So 2 plus x is equal to 6x plus 3. Now what you're going to do, you're going to remove the 2. So you minus 2 on both sides, x equals to 6x minus 2 will become plus 1. You minus 6x on both sides, minus 5x equals to 1, and divide by minus 5x is minus 1 over 5, and that is an excellence in 2016. The last question, which was in 2019 NCA, that is perhaps the hardest question, but again, it's not too bad if you know the rule. So again, you have to change it to the same base, so 25 is the same as, 5 squared multiply by 5 2y plus 13 equals to 5y squared. Then if you have the same base, you're going to add the power. So 5 2 plus 2y plus 13 equals to 5y squared. Then you know that the, part, the base is the same. You can say that this is equal to this. So 2 plus 13 is going to be 15. So it's going to be 2y plus 15 because 2 plus 13 is 15 equals 2y squared. Now you're going to solve a quadratic equation. Everything has to be equal to 0. So you minus 2y and minus 15 on both sides of the equation. So that's going to be 0 equals to y squared minus 2y minus 15. Then you're going to do a quadratic factorizing. So it's going to be y and y, and then it's going to be 5 and 3, and it's going to be minus 5, and then you try it out, y times minus 5 is minus 5y, y times 3 is 3y, and you add them up, that's equal to 2 minus 2y, and that is equal here. So now that you got the answer, so that is going to be y minus 5, y plus 3 equal to 0, and you solve it, y minus 5 equals 0, or y plus 3 equals 0, and the final answer, you plus 5 on both sides, y equals to 5, or y equals to negative 3, and this is an excellent question in the 2019 NCA Level 1 paper. Hope you have enjoyed learning this, and hopefully you keep on practicing, and one day, You'll be very good in algebra. Thank you for watching and have a good day.